hello students in the previous lecture we have seen some properties as well as its examples and in this lecture we are going to see the next examples they are in your exercise 1.1 your second question is what write the additive inverse of each of the following then what is meaning of additive inverse what is its meaning its meaning means you are given any one example then you will change its sign then this is a additive inverse then which type you can see here your first example is what 2 by 8 your first example is what 2 by 8 and write its additive inverse means you will write here your plus sign is present your plus 2 by 8 is present then you will write here minus 2 by 8 is the this plus sign will be converted into minus minus 2 by 8 is the additive inverse of additive inverse of 2 by 8 because because minus 2 by 8 plus 2 by 8 means this question and its answer they are added then you will get zero because minus 2 plus 2 Numbers are same, signs are different. Also here, its LCM is also same. Then you can directly subtract or uh, addition. Then minus two plus two is zero. Means this is it. This is the answer. In your second example, what is your second example? Minus five by nine. Then your answer is what? This minus sign is taken here. Then you will convert into plus. Then you will write here. Here you will write its opposite sign that is. Plus five by nine is the additive inverse of minus five by nine. Again, you will get its reason that is because because plus five by nine minus five by nine they are added. You will get zero. You will get zero. Then your third example is. Minus six by minus five. This minus sign, minus sign will be cancelled, and you will get six by five. Then you will find six by five is additive inverse. Then its answer is what? Minus six by five. Its answer is minus six by five is the additive inverse of this plus six by. This plus six by five, and you will add. Then you will get zero. Which type you will get zero? This because you will write here because minus six by five plus six by five. They are add. Then you will get zero. There yeah. you will get zero. Your next example is two divided by minus nine. Then. You will put here opposite sign, then you will get the answer. Then you will write here here minus is present, then you will write here plus. That is two by nine is the additive inverse of minus two by nine is the additive inverse inverse of two by two divided by minus nine because. Two by nine minus two by nine. They are add. Then you will get zero. Again, you will see the next example. That is fifth example. Your fifth example is nineteen divided by minus six. These examples are very simple. Then minus nine. Uh, min, uh, sorry, nineteen divided by minus six. Then you will write here nineteen divided by six because this minus will be convert into plus. Then nineteen by six is the additive. Inverse of is the additive inverse of minus nineteen by six because because nineteen by six minus nineteen uh, by six you will add then you will get zero. Okay, now we see here this is very simple example. See here minus sign is taken in question then you will convert into plus. This is the additive inverse of minus nineteen by six, and this question and answer they are added, then you will get zero. And 
is this is your reason then your next examples is see the next example means third example third example is verify that verify that minus minus x equal to x for your first example is x equal to 11 divided by 15 and your second example is x equal to minus 30 divided by c x equal to minus 13 divided by c then your re, uh, sorry your rule is what here x value is given and you will prove here minus multiplied by minus you will get plus then you will write here your first example is x equal to 11 by 50 then here minus minus x equal to x you will prove here verify that minus minus x equal to x then your LHS side is what minus minus x then you will write here minus minus. Then what is your value? 11 by 50. And this minus minus will be plus 11 by 50. And this is the value of x. That is RHS means here. Means here minus. Minus minus x equal to x is verified. Why it is verified? Because here LHS equal to RHS. We know that the sign multiplication. Again you will write here. Plus multiplied by plus. You will get plus. Plus multiplied by minus. You will get minus. Minus multiplied by plus. You will get minus. And minus multiplied by minus. You will get plus. Minus multiplied by minus. You will get plus. And your second example is x equal to minus 13 by 7. x equal to minus 13 by 7. Again you will write here. Your rule is minus minus x equal to x. Then you will write here LHS. That is minus minus x. Then you will write here minus in bracket. Minus in bracket. What is the value of x? You will take your bracket because your x value is negative. Because your x value is negative. Then minus 13 by 7. Then again you will cycle. Again you will see which type you can multiply these signs. Then first we will see this minus minus will be plus. In bracket you will write the same value that is minus 13 by 7. Again you will see this minus minus will be plus and this bracket is same. Again you will write here plus multiplied by minus is minus 13 by 7 and this is your x value and this is your x value means your minus minus x equal to x. This is RHS is verified. Is verified. And this is your answer. Then See the next example. Find the multiplicative inverse of the following. Four. Find the multiplicative inverse of the following then write the examples that is they are they are First is minus 13, second is minus 13 divided by 19, third is 1 by 5, fourth is 
minus 5 by 8 multiplied by minus 3 by 7 and 50 is minus 1 into minus 2 by 5 and 60 is minus 1. Again, we check minus 13 by 19, 1 by 5, minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7, minus 1 into minus 2 by 5, and minus 1. These are the examples. Then, you will see here. Your first example is what? Minus 30. Then your question is what? Find the multiplicative inverse of the following. Means its multiplicative inverse is what? You will write here. Its multiplicative inverse is this will be present in numerator then you will write in the denominator. 1 upon minus 13 or minus 1 upon 13, they are the same. You will take your minus sign, this is also correct. You will take your minus sign, this is also correct. And you will take your in between sign, this is also correct. Means 1 upon minus 13 means this de uh, numerator is goes on denominator. Then your, the, your answer is 1 upon minus 13. Then your second question. Minus 13 by 19. Its multiplicative inverse is inverse is. Again, you will see here this numerator is going on, goes on denominator and its denominator is going on numerator. That is, you are interchange the number that is minus 19 upon 13, and this is your answer. Third, third is 1 by 5, then its multiplication uh, is its multiplicative inverse is 5 by 1 that is 5. Its, its multiplicative inverse is 5 by 1 that is 5. Then your fourth example is what? Minus 5 by 8. Then, its multiplicative inverse is minus 8 by 5. Here you can see uh, carefully, minus sign will be said. Only this denominator and numerator, they are interchanged. Numerator is goes on denominator and denominator is goes on Numerator, this is called the multiplicative inverse. Then your fifth example is, fifth example is what? This is your third example. This is your fourth example. Fourth example is minus, sorry. Here, uh, your example is minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7. Then you will write here again. Then uh, next example, minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7. Here two numbers are present. First you will multiply and then you will write its multiplicative inverse. Then here minus minus will be plus because here multiplication sign will be taken. Then minus minus will be plus. Then 5 into 3 is 15 divided by this 8 into 7 is 8 into 7 is 56 means 15 divided by 56. First you can see here. Your fourth example is what? This is your extra example. This is your extra example. Your fourth example is minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7. Then first you will multiply by here. That is minus minus plus. 5 3 are 15. 8 7 are 56. And then you will write its multiplicative inverse. Then its multiplicative inverse is. Fifty-six by fifteen. Sign is plus. Sign is plus fifty-six by fifteen. Then your next example. Your fifth example. See here. Fifth. 
minus 1 into minus 2 by 5. First your rule is what? You will multiply, then you will write its multiplicative inverse. Because your multiply sign is taken. This minus into minus is plus. This 1 into 2 is 2. And this divided by same denominator that is 5. Means its multiplicative inverse is is 5 by 2. 5 by 2. Your next example is minus 1. Then minus 1 divided by 1 because your denominator is not present but always your denominator is you will consider 1. Then here minus 1 by 1 is taken then you will uh, write its multiplicative, uh, multiplicative inverse then you will get 1 upon minus 1. This is also a minus 1. Then its multiplicative inverse is 1 upon minus 1 that is minus 1 that is minus 1 because your denominator is 1 then you will get the same value. Then see the next example. Name the property under multiplication. Equation is name the property under multiplication and each and in each of the following and each. And in each of the following. Then your first question is what? Minus 4 by 5 into 1 equal to 1 into minus 4 by 5 equal to minus 4 divided by 5. Then your second is minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 7. Minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 7. Then, your third is minus 19 by 29 into 29 divided by minus 19 equal to 1. Equal to 1. Then, your question is what? Name the property under multiplication and in each of the following. यानी आपको property का name लिखना है. जो first अपना example है, वो क्या है? Minus 4 by 5 into 1 equal to they are interchange. 1 into minus 1, 1 into minus 4 by 5. You will interchange a number, means you will write here 2 into 3, then you will get 6. And you will write here 3 into 2, you will get also 6. Correct? You will interchange the number in multiplication, then you will get the same answer here also, same type taken. Then here which property is present? Multiplicative property is present. Multiplicative, multiplication. Multiplicative property. Correct? Because your only multiplication is taken, only multiplication is given. Not interchange, then you will write the next property. Minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 7. Here you will write minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 7. Here also you will uh, interchange, here answer is not given. Then you will match the commutative property. Then your commutative property is what? We know that your commutative property is A into B equal to B into A. We will consider here A is minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 17. And here you will uh, 
you will uh, say here minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 17 means here only the numbers are interchanged means you will compare these properties means um, you will write here commutative property for multiplication commutative property for multiplication then you are third third is minus 19 by 29 into 29 divided by minus 19 equal to 1 we know that here numerator denominator but here you will change the denominator and numerator means this will be transfer over side this will be transfer upper side and they are multiplied then you will get 1 means it is a multiplicative inverse because in multiplicative inverse you will change only denominator and numerator place then you will get the answer then this is a multiplicative inverse. denominator is goes on low. denominator is goes on numerator and numerator is goes on denominator then multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 then first we will find what is the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 then you will write here the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7 is minus 16 by 7 and then you will multiply here then you will write here 6 by 13 multiplied by this reciprocal that is minus 16 by 7 then here minus 96 divided by 91 16, 6 are 96 and 13, 7 are 91 and this minus sign will be changed. Means you will see carefully here multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. Then first we will write the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7 and they are multiplied in 6 by 13 into minus 16 by 7. Here plus minus is minus 16, 6 are 96 and 13, 7 are 90. One and this is your answer. Then the next example. Tell what property seven. Tell what property allows you to you to compute your properties given 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 has 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 into 4 by 3 then we know that Commutative property, for, commutative property for multiplication that is a into b equal to b into a. Commutative property for addition that is a plus b equal to b plus a. Associative property for multiplication then you know that a into in bracket b into c 
that is complete equal to a into b in bracket into c and addition property is what a plus in bracket b plus c equal to a plus b in one bracket plus c you will compare to property associative as well as commutative but here three numbers are present then you will compare to associativity then what is your associative property we know that your associative property for multiplication is here associative property for multiplication is a into in bracket b into c equal to a into b into c here associativity is present because here three numbers are present means your answer is this is a associative property for multiplication this is a associative property for multiplication and this is your answer then see the next example Divided by nine, the multiplicative inverse of the multiplicative inverse of minus one one by eight y or y not y or y not. First, see your question carefully. What is eight by nine? The multiplicative inverse of minus one over uh, one by eight. Why are not? Here first we we'll write minus one upon uh, sorry minus one one by eight. You will convert into p upon q form. Then you will get which type? Uh, first we we'll write here we have. For eight example is is eight by nine. The multiplicative inverse of minus one one upon eight. Question mark. Why are why not? Then first you will write here we have minus one by one one upon eight. First we will convert into p upon form. That is minus sign is same. Then eight into one plus one divided by eight. This eight is multiplied by this one, adding one divided by eight. Then this minus sign will be same. Eight into one is eight plus one divided by eight. Then you will get minus nine by eight. Means This minus one one upon eight. This will be convert into p upon form. P upon q form. You will get minus nine by eight. And minus nine by eight. Its multiplicative inverse is minus eight by nine. And this minus nine by eight. Its multiplicative inverse is. Its multiplicative inverse is. Minus eight by nine, but here only eight by nine is given. Here minus eight by nine is given. Then eight by nine is not a multiplicative inverse of minus one one upon eight because this minus one one upon eight you will convert into p upon q form. Then you will get the minus nine by eight, and again you will here multiplicative inverse uh, is uh, take up means uh, you will write here multiplicative inverse. Then its multiplicative inverse is what minus eight by nine. It is not a eight by nine. It is a minus eight by nine. Then this is not correct. Then you will write here eight by nine is not the multiplicative inverse of minus one one by eight of minus one one by eight. Then. See the next example. 
then is 0 0.3 9 is 0 0.3 the multiplicative inverse of the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3 y or y not y or y not then same type of example is 0 0.3 the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3 y or y not then first we will convert into p upon q form then 3 1 by 3 then we will write 3 into 3 plus 1 divided by 3 3 multiplied by 3 plus 1 divided by this 3 3 3's are 9 this plus 1 divided by 3 then you will get 10 by 3 which is p upon q form is what 10 by 3 and then you will write its multiplicative inverse then its multiplicative inverse is is 3 by 10 is 3 by 10 and it is also 0 0.3 it is also 0 0.3 means this sentence is true 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3 this sentence is true means 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse inverse of 3, 1 by 3 and this is your correct answer. Then, next example. that does not have a reciprocal. First, the rational numbers does not that does not have a reciprocal. Your question is what? The rational numbers does not have a reciprocal because you will write in answer form then you will get 0 by 1 because the rational number is not a reciprocal then you will write here 0 by 1 and this is your answer because you don't write 1 upon 0 because 1 upon 0 is a undefined term means your answer is what 0 by 1. Your second question is what? The rational numbers, the rational numbers, these are your questions. The rational numbers that are equal, that are equal to their reciprocal, to their reciprocals. Your answer is what here? 1. Because you will take 1 by 1, you will get 1. Because you will take 1, 1 by 1, then you will get 1. Means your answer is what? 1 means the rational numbers that are equal to their reciprocals. Its answer is 1. And your third question you will write here. The rational number, the rational number that is equal to its negative. To its negative, then your answer is what? Zero. Your answer is what? Zero. These are your, means these are given in your Facebook. These are questions and these are the answer. These are the answer. Then, here your, your 10 question is completed and at the rest you will see in the next lecture.